Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of March 26th through to April 1st. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, you have the Four of Cups in the reverse position. Next, we have the Eight of Wands reversed, followed by the Ten of Wands in the reverse and next we have the Ace of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have the Two of Wands in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, Libra, you have that of the Four of Cups in the reverse position. Four of Cups upright, this is sort of like the ho-hum emotional apathy. Mm, the universe could be trying to offer you something. You don't really know. You don't really care. You could be missing the opportunity. You don't think this opportunity will ever come towards you. That kind of energy. However, when it's inverted, this is much better, I feel, because this kind of points back to the Three of Cups where we're feeling uh, maybe a little bit more uh, sociable, maybe a little bit more emotionally. Something has happened maybe to uh, jumpstart your emotions. You're feeling a little bit more... Um, emotionally on target as opposed to the ho-hum your emotions are maybe starting to resurface again if any of you have say uh buried your emotions due to you know for whatever reason there's multiple reasons why we bury our emotions but it could be that you're starting to uh feel a little something <laughs> you're feeling a certain kind of way on the emotional front and it's definitely good it's 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 much better now moving on you have for the beginning of the week the energies of the eight of wands in the reverse position the eight of wands upright this is the card of uh, arrows of love find their mark uh, in a relationship reading this also represents travel this can represent a lot of communication back and forth if we're putting things out there if you're on dating sites and you're getting a lot of activity a lot of action uh, if you're um, working and uh, this could represent a lot of emails back and forth or just a lot of communication and fast communication when it's inverted like this this can sometimes point to um, a lack of communication well mercury is uh, in direct motion or uh, mercury is um, is not in direct motion <laughs> so I don't know mercury retrograde sorry Mercury retrograde can oftentimes uh, stop up communication, cause communication glitches, that kind of thing. So say you're sending out a bunch of emails or even um, text messages to people or resumes, say if for any of you looking for work, it could be that you're not hearing back. There could be situations where people are not getting your correspondence or you're not getting theirs, that kind of thing. For others of you, this could represent, if you had travel plans, it can represent travel delays that kind of thing and it's right off the hop coming into the week and it's paired up with the ten of wands in the reverse position I prefer to see this card reversed as opposed to upright this is when we're carrying too heavy of a load it could be too many worries could be too many uh, just carrying too many physical things could actually cause you to have back problems <laughs> Um, and just carrying too many responsibilities and burdens. When it's inverted like this, this is where we're, we're stopping it. Sometimes it's just like, no, we realize that we hit our limit and we can't, our bodies can't take anymore. Or sometimes it's um, no need to worry. Sometimes this is coming out of worrying about several things. You're no longer worried about them. And for others of you, this could be that you're just um, delegating so you don't have so much uh, on your plate to deal with. So many um, duties to, uh, you know, get done. This is just much better energy, I find, when it's reversed like that. Because we're releasing uh, burdens that probably didn't belong to us in the first place. But a lot of times we try to help other people and so forth and take more and more on our plate. And then realize, whoa, we're overloaded and we need to delegate. And when it comes up in reverse, that's exactly what we're doing. We're dropping the... Um, the responsibilities and the duties or delegating them to someone else. I just thought of something here with this um, communications sort of glitch or 
uh, cut down. Maybe for some of you, there was just uh, too much coming at you in terms of communication. And because that stopped, it released a burden. Just throwing it out there. You'll have to let me know in the comments if it, <laughs> if it um, related to you or not. Anyway, moving on towards the weekend of the 30th, 31st, you have really nice energies of the Ace of Pentacles in the upright position. The Ace of Pentacles can represent an offer coming your way from the anti-cosmos uh, about anything from, uh, this can represent a job offer, this can represent a pay raise, this can represent um, an opportunity for investment. For some of you, maybe you'll get a line on if you invest your money in this particular situation it can grow to you know make you a lot of money somewhere down the line for others of you this could be uh, maybe a small offer job offer or something like that to make extra money uh, for others of you this could represent a really good um, apartment or house uh, at a good price that comes your way because Pentacles also represent security so uh, it's going to be different for all of you because it is just a general read after all. And the last card you have up here is the Two of Wands in the upright position. This is about making a plan. Maybe some of you um, get an opportunity here that comes out of nowhere to maybe make some money or even to move to uh, uh, an affordable place and you're already starting to put the plan into action because the two of wands is all about putting a plan into action so if this is say a job offer maybe you're starting on the weekend or if this is a, an offer of a place you're actually starting to move on the weekend this is, uh, or, or at least planning it, getting it all organized and planned. So, uh, interesting reading here, Libra. Looks like the first part of the week, there could be something going on uh, with communication or even travel delays. But it looks like you drop your burdens, you move on to uh, a pretty good weekend with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Two of Wands. And emotionally, you're sort of coming back to, your your emotions are coming back to uh, where they should be. You're leaving the apathy behind and starting to feel something on the emotional front. So, very good reading, Libra. I hope this helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Have a good one. Bye for now.